A historic performance last night by Katie propelling the Nets to overcome significant odds to take a three to two lead in the series over the Bucks, a 114 to 108 win. KD played all 48 minutes, shooting 70% from the field, finishing with 49 points, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists to become the first player in NBA history to record a 45 15 10 game in the playoffs. So, how you feeling, KD? It's funny to rank or, you know, look at performances. I mean, once they happen, I just try to move on and see if I can do it again. Uh, uh, it was a fun game to be a part of. Historic, historic performance. I mean, we, <laughs> he played the entire game. He barely missed. We know he's capable of nights like this, but to do it tonight, you know, we lose Kai. You know, James obviously is is soldiering through, you know, his ailments. Um, we're down bodies. We're wounded. And for him to have the toughness, the mentality, you know, that's what makes him one of the all time greats. And so this is a performance that, you know, a signature performance, you know, for, for Kevin and uh, and it was beautiful to watch. The greatness was on full display. LeBron James shouting him out. Greatness. Appreciate it while you can, people. And also, of course, the great Magic Johnson had to weigh in. He also had a tweet that he put out. Kevin Durant put on one of the greatest performances in NBA playoff history, scoring 49 points. 17 rebounds and 10 assists and leading the shorthanded Nets to victory, taking a 3-2 to two lead. Wow, that was a game. I hope no one turned that one off early because, wow, incredible till the very end. Okay, so look, after that performance, Freddie, would you say that the torch has officially been passed from LeBron James to KD? It hasn't been passed, but he's getting closer to that flame. Let's put it that way, and he's not the only one that's closer to that flame when it comes to LeBron James being the best player in the NBA. LeBron James is still the best, but more than ever before. And that's not just Kevin Durant. There's so many other players that are getting closer and closer to that. As a matter of fact, there's a guy on his team called Anthony Davis that when he's healthy is a lot closer to LeBron James than people want to realize. But when you have that kind of performance that he had last night, and I said it before the game happened, this is the most important playoff game for Kevin Durant to the 2016 Western Conference Finals when he played for Oklahoma City. They had a 3-1 lead in the series, and they lost that lead to the Golden State Warriors and lost that series. This was so much better, the kind of performance that he had for the first time in NBA history, that somebody had a game of at least 45 points, 15 assists, 15 rebounds, excuse me, and 10 assists. He did that in spectacular fashion. So the torch has not been passed yet, but more than ever before, it's a lot closer because that dude may be even better now, ladies, than when he was before the Achilles injury, and he was a cheat code as it was. He may be even more of a cheat code now, especially understanding the game, playing in a place where he's happy, having that kind of pressure, and reducing that pressure in a game that the Nets, if they did not win it, they were not going to win the series. Kudos to him. The torch has not been passed, but Kevin Durant is a lot closer to that flame of LeBron James. Charlie, if I may edit the the word choice in this topic just a bit. Okay. I don't know that it has been passed, right? But I do feel like KD did one of these. Like I, I think KD I is taking it. the torch, Freddie. And and I'm I'm gonna disagree with you. I think that KD has gone and grabbed the torch and is now sitting on the mantle in the in the uh, NBA. Here's what we do as consumers. The moments matter, right? And in this playoffs, especially a playoffs in which the Lakers have already been sent home, one, two, three, Cancun, uh, <laughs> Kevin Durant gave us the moment that we're going to be talking about for quite some time. And quite honestly, moving forward, I'm looking at the complexion of this series completely different, whether or not Kate Kyrie is able to return or if James Harden is able to go full strength. I think what we overlooked in this conversation going into this game, we've been lulled to sleep just a little bit by this idea of super teams. And KD had running mates with him in Golden State, and he had running mates originally that was the plan in Brooklyn. And I think we forgot just how lethal the one solo entity, that being Kevin Durant, could absolutely be. My favorite post-game quote coming out of this was from James Harden. He's like, you know, you saw the game slow down for Kevin last night. In the second half, he's directing guys. He's getting to his spots. And when he elevates, there's nothing anyone not close to his height can do. <coughs> the dude that didn't want to guard Giannis. I mean, I'm sorry, KD. Wow. That's close to his height. <laughs> it's but like anyway, that, huh? Um, he was 100 he was 100% comfortable. And I think when you see elite scorers and athletes in their zone, this is why, and this is the promise of Kevin Durant. And so the, the thing you mentioned about injuries is, is interesting because we know that he's coming back from his Achilles. 
while I don't see a high ankle sprain as a career ender, we can't deny father time is at play when it comes to LeBron. And, and injuries sure. take a different life the older you get into your career. I hear you, but this is the first really magical playoff moment we've seen from Kevin Durant since game three of the, of the NBA okay. Finals. Yeah, that, we've seen a lot so, more moments from LeBron James in these playoff situations. I do remember LeBron James having a 51-8-8 game. I do remember LeBron James in the chase wrong. down block in game seven against the Golden State Warriors when he said, the land, but the, this but, is for but, you. But, but Freddie, so we've seen a lot more Freddie. playoff moments <laughs> compared to LeBron James when it comes to Kevin Durant. Freddie, but we talking going forward, though. Like, do you, do you think, if I had to pick between the two of these, I think that there are more playoff moments ahead for KD than I do LeBron, just right. in terms of the makeup of the Brooklyn Nets compared to the Los Angeles Lakers, the size of which the league they play in, the East versus the West, and what I think Brooklyn is poised to do more moving forward. I will give you that. Okay. If we were going apples to apples, KD mm -hmm. has more work to do. But moving mm -hmm. forward, I think when you pick up the torch, it is understood that you got more work to do, but you are now carrying it. I get it, but so does LeBron James because LeBron James, it's got to be killing him to be sitting at home yeah. mm -hmm. giving Twitter love to Kevin Durant thinking, man, if I was out there, there's no way you busted me in the mouth with 49 points. I'd have said, hey, coach, I got to <laughs> take this guy. I can't have Chris Middleton do it. I can't have PJ, no points, Tucker doing it with all the shoes. Uh-uh. I'm going to Mike Budenholz and say, I'm LeBron James, baby. I got to check this guy right now. That's why That's I don't think the That's the makeup choice. of the greats. I, exactly. I agree. And when you're that great, if you're LeBron James, He's still that great. Think about this. In my opinion, he's the greatest athlete that's ever played in the NBA. We have never seen size, speed, and ability, and he's still doing it, about to play his second decade in the NBA. He's still the best. In the words of Ric Flair, he's still the best thing going. Woo! But until that happens, <laughs> Kevin Durant is second on that list. But until that happens, the torch has not been passed yet. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.